welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. Now, I'm sure you've seen all of these uh, videos uh, spreading around the internet, and it's been prevalent now more in the UK. In one incident, these couple of teenagers are supposed to be young adults, go into grocery stores, and they just start dumping out milk in the middle of the <laughs> And you will notice that when the people come up to try to stop them, they're not being aggressive with them. You'll get treated more aggressive by saying the wrong things on the internet. They're going into stores, destroying property because of climate change and the harmful to animals. They're going in. They said by now they've caused about $100,000 in damage. If you knock their teeth out of their mouth, I guarantee you they'll stop some of these kinds of actions. See, this is a crowd that never got a proper ass whooping. Yeah, I said it. They've never had a proper ass whooping. See, this is a timeout crowd. When you decide to want to do timeouts, as opposed to putting someone on their backside, look at them. They all look the same. If you look at the, 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 the way that these folks look and act, they all have the kind of parents, the tree-hugging kind of parents, the kind of parents who didn't believe in discipline, the kind of parents who never beat their children's behind, the kind of parents who let their kids run the house. This is what you're dealing with. Now, uh, they're not the only ones because in another incident, another fella, it was an Aston Martin, uh, looked like a car dealership. He's got some kind of paint. He's literally just spraying it all over the windows. Now, he's dressed like kind of like a girl. Look like he got on a dress and a girl's like some kind of girl's top here. See, this is a fella right here who has daddy and mommy issues. He think he's doing something smart with his backpack on. I don't want him there and put a chokehold on him, shade off his hair off, his head, his eyebrows off. Look, he got on a skirt. That looked like a dress to me. I don't know what he got on. You see when he turn around, what else? He, he, look how he just ruining these people's property. How in the hell do these people get away with this kind of stuff? Look, look at now he wants to talk. Well, let, wait a minute. Let, let, let's go back and listen to what he's saying. We will not be stopped by injunctions that are intended to silence protest. <laughs> We're a non-violent civil disobedience movement. We know. That the changes in the laws, the injunctions against us, are irrelevant in comparison with mass starvation, with the genocidal policies that our government is pushing for, with their 100 new fossil fuel licenses in the North Sea. And he's spraying it all over the place. If you keep allowing these people to do this, they'll keep doing it. See, if there was real consequences behind doing this, this would stop. Now, if somebody goes out and knocks their teeth out their mouth, then they want to go get a lawyer. How is it capable that these people, they should have to pay back everything they've destroyed? I don't care which one it was. This nonsense needs to stop now. These climate change nonsense, and they keep saying that they're peaceful. You're destroying property. There's nothing peaceful about destroying properties. Hurt feelings is worse than them going through destroying people's properties. Now, you remember the other day, I think we only put that video up on our website, commonsensenation.net. There were two little girls, <clears throat> and I call them little girls. <clears throat> they go into a museum, and there's a Van Gogh painting in there. 
uh, I believe the painting is worth about $84 million. They take some, some type of tomato soup and throw it on the painting, and then they take their hands and super glue their hands to the wall. That wouldn't work real well with me if you super glue your hands to the wall because I'm snatching the skin and everything else off your hand. So I guess look at this. They got something against Van Gogh, I guess. I guess it's an oil painting or something. Now let's get our glue out, girlfriend. Because my mom is going to be so proud of me. Yes, she is. Mom, look at me. I'm being a badass mom on the internet. Super glue your hands, Sally, to the wall. Let's show them that we mean business. Mom, look at us. There, my hand's super glued to the wall. Look at that. No, you can't remove us. He just going around like, what do we do next? Snatch the freaking hands off the wall. Stop the oil. My God, this is so bad. We don't understand. Our hand is super. See, we are for climate change. Let's take pictures of them. See, this is all for attention. Get to peel the skin off their hand. You wouldn't have this freaking problem. You're going to go in and destroy... What does Van Gogh got to do with climate change? Uh, these people are completely nuts. But the reason they keep doing it is because there is no consequences, just like all criminals. There's no consequences, just like the politicians keep doing what they're doing, because there's no consequences. They're destroying paintings, milk products, uh, going to uh, car dealerships, doing these types of things, because nothing's happening to them. Now, these climate change Nazis are some of the most dangerous people in the world. They're not concerned really about all the crime activity and the murder and the child molestation going on. Why don't y'all con concentrate on that? Why don't these same environmental tree huggers get concerned about kids being abused? Why don't they get concerned about criminal activities and crime uh, going throughout the cities and the states and the countries? Because... I believe in about the 19th centuries, the bisons was running all over the place and they weren't causing climate change, farting and everything else. That was the problem, right? No, most animals, especially if you go to the wild kingdom, I know we said this before, but they're not, they're not, uh, uh, they're not vegan. Uh, they eat meat. Lions eat meat. Tigers eat meat. Hyenas eat meat. Cougars eat meat. No, not the cougars, the two-legged cougars. Talking about the four-legged cougars. They eat meat. And so these folks think that they can go in and destroy property. This is what happens when children are not raised. Look at them. You can tell what type of them. Mom, get out of my open room, Mom. They got nothing else better to do. Now, what kind of grades you made in school? It's what I like to know because... You shouldn't have a right to be able to destroy people's property. And they're just casually asking them, well, would you please stop that? Now you go over, you snatch one of them and say, you go, drag them off the jail. Make them or their parents. They don't need to make their parents pay for it then. You're going to allow your children to do it. Do the parents not see these kids on TV? This is why I know they're not raised. Because with your parents back in the day, with your parents allow you to go into a store, videotape it, and they see you on, you, on the news saying, oh, I'm so proud of, uh, I'm so proud of Sally. I'm so proud of Samantha, the way she's in there dumping out the milk in this grocery store, milk she didn't pay for. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so uh, uh, proud of Victoria. She's in here throwing paint on Van Gogh's painting. So offensive. This oil painting is so offensive. By Van Gogh. Oh, I'm so I'm so proud of my son Jeffrey. Uh, what's your pronouns, Jeffrey? Uh, he's down here spray spray painting something on side of the Ashley Martin building, dressed like a girl. But I'm proud of him. Oh, I am very very proud of him. Where are the parents that you ever ask yourself that question? Because if one of my my kids would have been down there acting a fool like this, and they're grown, I'd have checked them. We had a problem. You lost your damn mind, fool. What's wrong with you? But not these people. I'm so proud of them. She said, you're fighting for climate change. You're not going to be destroyed by climate change. Climate change ain't the problem. You're the problem. Humans, filthy-hearted humans are the problem. Sin in the heart of humans are the problem, not climate change. They keep talking about that. They love them and worship the earth. Who created the earth, by the way, since we are on that particular uh, platform, who created it? It created itself. Mm, interesting.
It's the first time I've seen some created itself. Who created this phone? Hmm. Okay, it exploded into existence. Gotcha. The same people who are trying to say, we're trying to save Mother Earth, are the same ones saying that it just exploded. It just, what difference does it make if we destroy it? We need some ways to live. People are dying daily, and these fools are dumping out milk, destroying Van Gogh, and spraying paint on the windows of Aston Martin, and they think they are saving the climate. We're making a change. You're not changing anything, you damn fools, you.